Hello everybody and welcome to this video lesson. Um, today we will discuss about uh, the rules of the past simple of the regular verbs and the irregular verbs as well and also the rules of the past continuous. So we can begin with the first one uh, by taking a look sorry at the first unit which is about the past simple of the verb to be. So well first of all you have to know that the difference between a regular verb and the an irregular verb is that the past simple is different, meaning that uh, the, if you have an irregular verb, the, the word changes, you have a different word, all right? Whereas um, if you have a regular verb, the, the word is similar, meaning that you just have to add uh, uh, um, something else at the end of the word. But for the moment, we just take a look at the past simple of the verb to be. So for example, was where, if you take a look at this picture okay you can see there is a man sleeping okay it says last night okay and in the, other, in the other one you can see this man sitting at his desk okay answering the phone so if you take a look it says now robert is at work all right and then it says at midnight last night he wasn't at work so he wasn't all right he was in bed era letto he was asleep era addormentato all right so uh okay so the first thing you have to to know if you talk about the uh, the past simple is that uh, the past simple is uh, a tense which refers to something that has uh, nothing to do with the present all right so we, about something which is over all right so for example if you take a look at this example it says m is at the present becomes was passato so i am tired sono stanco but if you look at the other sentence it says i was tired last night ero stanco ieri sera okay so we're talking about last night and not now okay so also the other one is where is n dove n okay and the other one is where was n yesterday dove era dove è stata n ieri all right uh, and also the third one is the weather is good today il tempo è bello oggi the other one is so it becomes I'm sorry it becomes the weather was good last week era è stato bello fu bello la settimana scorsa all right so uh, as you can see so when you have whenever you have uh, am or is it becomes was but if you have are it becomes were all right so you are late sei in ritardo you were late yesterday eri in ritardo ieri so as you can see uh, also so if the subject is you no matter if it's the the, the singular or the plural are becomes were all right and also you, you can take a look at the, the, the example with the third person with the plural they aren't here non sono qui they weren't here last Sunday. Non erano qui domenica scorsa, all right? So if you look at the scheme, okay, so we have, for example, the, the positive form is I was, he was, she was, it was, all right? So as you can see, first person singular or third person singular becomes was. The negative form is I was not or wasn't, he was not, wasn't, if you want to make the contraction, she was not she wasn't it was not it wasn't okay and for the interrogative form you have was i was he was she was it so of course the order is different the collocation is different because if you have a question you have to put as usual you have to put the, the verb first and then the subject okay so if you look at the, the plural subjects so we were you were they were we were not or we weren't you were not you weren't they were not they weren't all right so the the, the question becomes where we were you were they all right so if you, if you look at examples uh, we uh, we have here it says when i was a child i was afraid of dogs okay quando ero bambino avevo paura dei cani all right uh, so when I was, I was, and then it says, we were hungry, 
after the journey, but we weren't or were not tired. Avevamo fame dopo il viaggio, dopo il tragitto, ma non eravamo stanchi, ok? And then you have the hotel was comfortable, but it wasn't expensive. Was comfortable, wasn't expensive, because we have the same subject, ok? The subject is always the hotel. It refers to the hotel, ok? And then you have, was the weather good when you were on holiday, ok? So, as you can see, the subject, the subject, I'm sorry, is the weather. So, was the weather good? Because the weather can be referred to, if you had to choose a pronoun, you, you choose it. So, was it, was the weather good when you were, you were on holiday? And then you have, those shoes are nice, were they expensive? Why were you late this morning? So as you can see, in this case, we have another word before the verb, which because why is a pronoun, all right? So if you remember, the rule is that uh, when you have a, a, an interrogative pronoun in a, in a question, the pronoun goes before the verb, all right? So why were you late this morning? And then it says, I was, corrisponde molto spesso in perfetto italiano, ero. In altri casi si traduce con il passato prossimo, sono stato, oppure con il passato remoto, fui. I went to the museum, museum, sorry, yesterday. It was interesting. È stato, era, fu, interessante. Now, I know we don't say fu a lot in Italian, but it can be really useful for you not to make any mistake, just to understand that this is something that is over and has no um, has nothing to do with the present all right okay so the, the next one is the examination was difficult was difficult è stato fu difficile they were in the USA in 1989 sono stati erano furono Romulus was the first king of Rome fu all right and also we have a note which says, uh, osserva in certe espressioni, in inglese was, were, corresponde al verbo avere in italiano. So, for example, if you say, I was afraid of dogs, this is like saying in Italian, avevo paura dei cani, but this is something you know already, okay? So, last year, Rachel was 22, so she is 23 now, aveva 22 anni, quindi adesso ne ha 23, okay? Because you have to think about it, uh, for example, uh, you have to think the sentence as if it were written, last year, Rachel was 22 years old, so she is 23 years old now, okay? And then we were hungry, avevamo fame, eravamo affamati, okay? Then you have the short answers, uh, okay, so for example, for the positive, uh, positive, sorry, short answer, you have yes, I was, he was, she was, it was, or yes, we were, you were, they were. And for the negative answer, you have no I, he, she, it wasn't. No, we, you, they weren't. All right. So, for example, if the question is, were you late? You say, no, I wasn't. If the question is, was dad at work yesterday? The answer is, yes, he was. And if the question is, were Sue and Steve at the party? The answer is, no, they weren't. Okay. So, if you look, for example, at the exercise, um, for example, uh, you can we can take a look at uh, the, the drill number two. It says uh, you have to complete the sentences with M is R or was where. Okay, you have to decide if it's the present or the past. Simple. So, for example, it says last year she was 22. So, she is 23 now. So, if you take a, 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 the next one, it says today the weather uh, nice. But yesterday it uh, very cold. So if you if you look at the sentence, you, you can see there is uh, an element which is today, which lets you understand that we are talking about the present. So you say today the weather. So the weather, if you remember, it is a, a, a subject, a word which can be replaced by the pronoun it. So the word is was. So. If you go back to the sentence, it says, today the weather was, I'm sorry, uh, is nice, but yesterday it was very cold. Because today means oggi, but yesterday it was very cold. Ieri era molto, faceva molto freddo.